Hey there. Um, here we are continuing the, uh, the fitting process. I took the kilt over to the clients for a, uh, a forward fitting. First, we, we had the initial fitting, the first fitting, at, during which I determined what the correct shape of the aprons would be, marking where the, the buckles and the straps should be. Brought it back here, did that work, and then I took it back over there for the forward fitting. And in that, I confirmed what I confirmed the accuracy of the previous measurements. I'd reduced the inside apron. I'd located the strap. Turns out the strap is is nicely. It's in the right spot. We don't bottom out. We've got this when it's properly tightened. We're meeting at about the first. I think the second, third but, but, uh, hole there. I did, however, because this is the opportunity. Oh, yeah, this is the this is when you find out. It's only when you're able to properly tension the inside apron and the person hauls and the cuts and fastens and everything else that you're going to see how everything else is going to hang. So I found two things. One, I have to move this buckle back about an inch and a half. And although the front apron, because that's a bit of a complex curve. Well, that one's not terribly complex, but there is a bit of a powder horn sort of sweep to it. I found that I had got that right, that it's, although it looks, again, sort of a very open ass laying flat on the individual's figure, it hangs just about straight. I did see, however, that the, the crease that I'd basted into place in the first fitting wasn't quite right. And that had changed because we were able to put the proper tension on the inside apron. So I didn't have um, basting thread and a needle on me. So I just pinched the cloth at the at the spot where the cloth was telling me where it wanted to hang and just made marks along that with chalk. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to um, move that buckle, baste everything into place, press it, and then set it aside. And then once the pressing's dry, I'm going to put on the top apron and I'm not going to use, uh, it's not top apron, the top band, sorry. I'm not going to use the tartan for that, which I generally use with a, with a lighter weight kilt. It's a 16, 18 ounce kilt. This is 22 ounce. And if I use a strip, even if it's only a couple of inches wide, if I use a strip of this tartan, we're adding the equivalent of that much volume to the waist, almost two fists. And we don't need that. So I'm going to use this, um, this green uh, worsted uh, ribbon, basic tape really, which I think was originally designed to be used as garter knots, but it'll make a, it'll make a wonderful top band in this case with the least amount of added volume. And then once that's on, the lining will go in. I will tease out the fringe, the very narrow, very um, subtle understated fringe on the, on the side, on the front apron. And then in goes the line, yeah, lining, sorry, top band lining, tease it out, put the label on and it'll be done. This is Friday afternoon. I anticipate I'll be able to walk this over on Sunday for the, um, for the uh, presentation. And there we go. Thank you.